Today I'd like to show you how to add a new employee and add custom roles to that employee. First let's log in. We're going to go to admin and we're going to go to employee maintenance. And up here in the top right corner you can see we can just hit new employee. This gives us the ability to add any information we need about our employee right here. Most important parts that we need are their first and last name, a password, and then also a role. Right now we're just going to add some already made roles. We're going to add an employee role and a manager role. Give them a first name and a last name. Also we're going to set a password. And do five six seven eight say okay and as you can see now we have a first last name and a password for this employee with two roles at this point the employee could log in with their password and also select one of the roles if we want to edit one of these roles say this role here the employee we're able to do that the default role gives them the ability to void items but not comp items so we're going to let them comp items we're also going to look at their button permissions, which is linked to each screen of the point of sale, where you can see you can add and take away just by simply touching to give or take away permissions. So we want to let this person edit roles. And we go back. So now they're able to do that. We're going to save this custom role. As you can see now, this employee has a custom role and a default role. Each employee can have either type. Custom roles are only sp specific to this employee, whereas default roles, if we edited, would be a global change. If we hit edit defaults here, you can see what I mean. If we make a change here to this default role, it'll affect anybody with this default employee role. This allows you to give each employee the exact permissions they need in each role they need. Just hit save. And now you can see test tester send is saved and ready to go. Go back and we're going to log out.